our scorecard. That's the series. Cheat code 5.4D. This is video number two. Okay, number two. So we're not going to go over the vocab, not going to go over the concepts. We're going to go straight to the problems. We've got four questions that we're going to solve right now. Okay, look at the pattern of numbers. For the number that comes next in the pattern, mark the number that comes next, right? Find the number, not for the number. Find the number. So what are we doing here? We're 54 to 44. That is minus 10. 44 to 34 is minus 10. 34 to... Guys, that's a pattern. That's pretty simple, right? 24 minus 10. What is it? Uh, 14. 14 is our answer. Okay. If you have a list of numbers, find out what you're doing between each number. Okay? And then write it down and see if... If you have a consistent thing or, or, or a pattern that you can that you can find, that you can see. The table below shows Ted's age at the end of different school levels, school grades, grade levels. Okay, so grade, third grade, he's nine, fourth grade, he's ten, seventh grade, he's thirteen. Whoa! Um, which statement describes the relationship between Ted's grade level and his age? Remember, we're trying to find the pattern between X and Y. So we're trying to find this pattern. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 7 plus 6 equals 13. 11 plus 6 equals 17. That is a consistent pattern. Our pattern is plus 6, right? So now, look, I haven't even read the, question, the answers yet. I just looked at the numbers and I found the pattern by myself. So now I'm going to go to the answers, see what it, see what it says. Ted's age is equal to his grade level times 3. No. 3 times 3 equals 9. That works for this grade. 4 times 3 equals 12. So that one's wrong, right? So F, wrong. Ted's age is equal to his grade level divided by 3. Look. Grade level divided by 3? No. His grade level, no, no, that's wrong. Because 3 times 3 is 9. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. He wasn't 1 years old. That's wrong. <laughs> you see, I did the math before, so now the question's easier. As I'm not getting confused, I'm not getting tricked. Because I'm looking for plus 6. Ted's age is equal to 6 less than his grade level. No. Well, okay, this was tricky. His age is equal to 6 less than his grade level. Here's his grade level. Minus 6. No, it's not minus 6. It's plus 6. More than. His age is equal to, so here's his age. Y equals, Y equals 6. 6 plus x, right? Or x plus 6. There you go. J. <clears throat> there is a relationship between the numbers in each pair below. What is the relationship between the numbers in each pair? Well, let's look at it. 12 to 9, 9 to 3, 6, 6 to 3. Look, that is minus 3. 9 minus 3, 6 minus 3. That's the, the minus 3. That's the first pattern I saw. Hmm, what about, is this divided? No, it's not divided by 2. What is 40, 68 minus, minus, minus. I'm going to guess it's a, look, let's do, this is the smallest number. 84 minus 42 is uh, 2 and 4. It's 42, okay? So let's go 84 plus 42 equals, and that's this direction, okay? 84 to 126. 6, 8, yeah, 126, that's it. The first number in each pair is the quotient of the second number and 14. Whoa. The first number in each pair is the product of the second number times 14. Well, let's do that. What's 12 times 14 is uh, 8. 
48, okay, add a zero. One times two is two, one times one is eight, six. Oh, that is, that is uh, correct, huh? Let's do that, okay? Um, the second number in each pair is the difference, so that's subtraction, between the first number and three. No, between the first number and three. Look, 168 minus 3 is 5, 6, 165. That's wrong. The second number in each pair is the sum, that's addition, of the first number in 39. No, what is 168 plus 39 is 17. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 3 is 10. 207. That's not right. The answer is B. Look, you, you read the question, you do some scratch work. 12 times 14. So you had to know quotient division, product multiplication, subtraction, addition. You had to know vocab here. Last question. Last question on the video. The table below shows the number of puzzles Eduardo completed each week. If the number, it shows the number of puzzle pieces that he used each week. Oh man, okay, so we're talking puzzles and puzzle pieces. So let's do this, X and Y. What's the relationship here? What's the relationship? What's the relationship? What's the relationship? You guys see that? 10 times what is 50, right? Based on the table, the number of puzzles a brother completed each week was equal to the number of puzzle pieces that week. Okay. Puzzles, or the number of puzzle pieces that week. So puzzle pieces, we're starting with this number, and so we're going up. We're going up. we got to listen. we got to, uh, excuse me for drawing my arrow too early. It says the number of puzzle pieces that week, and then we're going to the number of pieces. All right, divided by, that's great. So 500 divided by 50, look, what's 50 divided by five? Well, that would be one, zero, 10, huh. 250 divided by 50, we can mark out our zeros, what's five, 25 divided by five? Five times five is 25, perfect. So what is, 30 divided by 5. 6. 30 times, uh, 6 times 5 is 30. That's correct. Divided by 50. That's cool. If you have 8 quarters, you have $2, right? Um, 200 divided by 50. So 50 times 2 is 100. 50 times 4 uh, is... We can mark out our zeros. 20 divided by 5 is 4. There you go. That's it, guys. I hope you guys see that there's patterns. we got to find patterns. Our patterns are never going to be along this same line. Our pattern is always going to be across the, the columns or across the rows. Usually, you're going to go down or to the right. Sometimes, like here, you're going up. Okay? And notice there's divided, divided. So we knew it had to get smaller. It didn't, it didn't give us a multiplication option, which is nice. So, guys, thanks so much for watching the videos. Let me know what I can do. Let me know what you need and what is most helpful to you. See you later.